can you tell me a little bit about your the past 24 hours for you? Sure, sure. Um, as you know, there's a dire need of water for people in Putnam County, and I work for Teamsters Union, and we had access to the trailer and the tractor and drivers with CDL licenses. So we contacted several locations to see if anyone needed the use of that and um, actually found out the National Guard could use the tractor and the driver's support to help deliver the trailers of water that FEMA had dropped. So this morning we got our driver out and we've been to Poca High School and the Votech Center and we're refueling to go see um, when FEMA drops more trailers where the most need is. So far, does it seem that there are enough? There's enough water for the people uh, showing up. No, not not at all. Um, it's coming in slowly, but the distribution centers that are set up are doing a phenomenal job. The fire departments have got it organized to a T, and having the people come through in an orderly fashion. So the distribution of it as it arrives is going very well. Good. Do you know why it's it's taking longer to get enough supplies here? No, I don't. Um, we were supposed to have had several semi loads this morning and we have fewer than expected. We haven't ran out, to my knowledge, but hopefully they continue to arrive today. Okay. And how do you feel people people's spirits are about this? Um, well, unfortunately, I'm kind of saddened by that. I went to bed last night and looked at Facebook for a little while before I did go to sleep, and it was just really disheartening that so many people are complaining, and, you know, we're blessed here. This is a minor inconvenience. People in Kanawha County, the hospitals, the nursing homes, they're the ones that are affected the most, and they should get the water first. And there are free stations, the Chapman Funeral Home, Hayes Valley Church of God. Businesses are coming forward that have access to water and you just need to simply go get it. Right. And so I don't, I just think that people are re not reacting in a very positive way. And um, what would you like to see happen as a result of all of this? I would like to see the community come together instead of arguing against each other and show other areas that we can overcome this and that we can rise above it and be better people for it and help each other and just be a better community, be nicer to each other. Great. And do you think the national media has given it enough attention or the right kind of attention? Honestly, I haven't had an opportunity to stop to even see how it's being um, treated on a national level. Or a state level. <laughs> I have not had the, the TV on. I've not been home and had the opportunity to. And um, oh, do you want to also tell us about your husband? Um, sure. <laughs> um, my husband, Steve Deweese, is the sheriff here in the county, but he's also in the National Guard. So between being active with the county on the police side and the National Guard side, um, he's been home very little but I know that they are pulling together all the resources they've been meeting, the fire departments, the EMS, everyone's come together and really handling it well. They had an emergency plan in effect, so it was a simple thing to activate it and get the emergency center up and going, and it's being handled well. Good. And do you, how do you feel about the gap in time between when the leak happened and when it was reported by the DEP or to the DEP? I think that's unfortunate. I mean, we were actually having dinner with our family at a restaurant in Kanawha County and had just consumed like three glasses of piece of water when it was started coming across the TV. And, you know, I think that if the water company, the companies themselves, whoever is aware first, should make the contact with the community immediately and I don't think that businesses whether it be offices or unless it's a critical situation business I think that businesses should be closed and offer that courtesy to let their employees be home and be sanitary with the conditions that they're working in. What do you think that was a result of? Is it government regulations, lack of regulations? I'm you not have any sure. idea, I mean, I, opinion on it? I'm not sure at all. I just think it's flu season. We need to protect our elderly. We need to protect our babies. We need to protect the sick. And be, continuing to function as if things haven't happened. I understand carry on a normal day. But hand sanitizer with flu season and restrooms and 
I just think it's courtesy and common sense to stay home and try to just eliminate another possible event. Do you have anything that you want people to know, people who aren't here, haven't seen enough about this that they don't know? Um, I would say try to be prepared I and mean, there's only a certain degree that you can follow that too. Uh, obviously you can't hoard water, it expires. You have to use it so you can't have tons on hand. But just be prepared in your family and not overreact and not try to, you know, think of what if because what if will get you in trouble and just focus on what you're going through and let the people who actually need the water have access to it and not worry, you know, that you might need it because there are people out there who do need it right now. Good. And how long have you lived in West Virginia? My entire life. Okay. So we'll leave it at that. <laughs> oh, that's good. Can you say I've lived in West Virginia my entire life? I've lived in West Virginia my entire life. And do you want to tell us anything about West Virginians? Um, I think West Virginians overall are good at diversity and overcoming and work hard and have a good work ethic and I just hope that they show those qualities in the coming days and just pull together to help each other. Great. Do you have anything else you want to add? I don't think so. Okay. I'll hop in and go get another load.